hello guys good morning today i have quite a bit of stuff to do but right now i'm going to make some breakfast so if you used to follow me first off i can't find my tripod so you guys are sitting on this olive oil <laughs> if you guys watched me before we even moved to fort drum i used to make omelets all the time and i've kind of just gotten back into it like it's a good easy healthy breakfast to have and i like to add like a little bit of sour cream and salsa on top so i figured i would show you guys what i do it's just a tiny bit different than what i used to do back in the day where i would just literally mix it up throw it in and call it a day now i like saute the bell pepper and the spinach have a little salt and pepper and it's good i'm really excited about my new pan so this is what it looks like she is so pretty it's in tan i have seen this all over instagram and it's been an ad that has just been everywhere on my feed and it's so interesting to me because it can do like a bunch of different things in one so it's super super non-stick i wanted to show you guys the spoon on here too this is so cool it has a spoon that comes with it that lays right in here oh Sorry about that. It also has these pour spouts, which I love, but you can fry, saute, all that kind of stuff. It's very nonstick, so you don't have to use like butter oils or anything. So I'm not going to use any butter oil today. You can just do a bunch of different things with it. It's very lightweight too, which most of our pans are not. So basically it can replace a ton of different pans, like saucepans, frying pans, things like that. And it can all be done in this one. And I love this color. I was going back and forth between this one and the orange but this is just stunning this is what i'm going to be using to make my omelet i've been loving it it's so pretty and it cleans really really easily and this is called the always pan i don't think i even said that but it's called the always pan and it's just awesome so i do want to thank our place for sponsoring this video signing this out to me i have been loving it and if you are interested in this you can click the link below to pre-order a pan and get ten dollars off with my link so i'll have that below it's really great a lot of beautiful beautiful colors but this tan is just chef's kiss all i have is salt and pepper i have my bell peppers and spinach already chopped up so this will be going in first all you have to do is literally just throw it in here since it's super non-stick we'll put our egg in there and we'll make it really nice first thing i was cutting up mason's pear but i'm gonna add the bell peppers first and we're gonna let those get nice and not super soft but just a little bit and i am going to Add a little bit kind of kind of group them all together and then add a little bit of salt and pepper to that like so go wait for that to heat up and let these saute and get a little bit juicy that's happening I'm gonna crack open two eggs and I'm going to scramble them and add just a like touch of almond milk to get them a little bit fluffy. So how pretty is this bowl? I love it so much. Oh my God. <laughs> Definitely missed the bowl on that one. That was pretty horrific. Love that. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. These are awesome. I'll link them below. I need to refill them, but um, these are our salt and pepper grinders. They are so good. Add the spinach, just chopped spinach. I just do a handful, and then I do quarters of the bell pepper, and that's enough for me. All right, so I've kind of got it sauteed for the most part, and now I'm going to kind of, I like to put them generally in the same area, like right here. You see how nonstick it is? Everything's just like flying by. But I'm gonna kind of spread it out just a little bit and then pour the egg right on top of it. Put that right in there. Everything over here. You could use something smaller if you want, but this is so nonstick, which is essential for an omelet. Just remember too, egg cooks even off the skillet. So a lot of people will say like, don't cook it as long as you think you need to. Just go ahead and take it off and let it rest. And when it rests, you get, it starts cooking a little bit more. So keep that in mind. But I just put that on, flip over the other side. This reminds me of like when you go to restaurants and get like really bomb omelets that just have so much stuff in them. They always usually have like some sort of sour cream or salsa if you get like a Southwestern. That is it, my friends. Hello guys, Davis and I are headed out right now. We're going to go on a hike 
which I did put makeup on for because there might be good photo opportunity. Supposedly there's like a waterfall at the end of this, but we'll see. So Davis is working on a bit of work right now and we will head out right after. So I'm really excited. Hopefully it's good. What is it, five miles? Uh, five miles round trip. Five miles. And he also found this trail on an app. He used it in Montana too, it's called All Trails app. Um, but you can download it and find like trails near you. So this is our first one here in Washington. I did not do it in Montana because it was incredibly cold. So we're gonna do it today. Hopefully it's good. We decided to kind of go not too far from the house. Little Mashal Falls Trail. Mashal? Ma Mashal, M-A-S-H-E-L. It has like almost five stars, 1500 reviews. That's pretty good. Hopefully, hopefully it's good. We will see. So, um, we've already seen a couple of people <laughs> might be a little dressed up. That's okay. Before you know it, we'll be out here with all our hiking stick gear and cool stuff. I have my old snowboarding backpack, so. I just brought what I had, you know? My shoes, these are actual shoes you hike in. They got good grip, but it is a little bit colder than I expected, so. It is chilly, geez. It's so cold. Did you bring any gloves? No, you had said you were wearing a long sleeve tee under and your jacket. jacket, and I thought, you know, I'll wear my sweatshirt and, mm -hmm. and my jacket, and I now it's colder. I have gloves. <laughs> Davis and I keep running into these signs that say we're going the wrong way, and I told him, this is how horror movies start. All we're waiting on now is the chainsaw to start. Somewhere. Somebody just be on this road and just. If we had taken that left. Because, yeah, this is essentially the road we would have been on. <laughs> My question is why is the sign up here instead of down here where you're supposed to turn? Well, good little, good little workout. <laughs> but hey, if you listen to Mystery Podcast and you watch all that stuff, that's how it starts. Meanwhile, everybody behind the screen saying, no, don't go that way. We can hear the water, so we know we're getting close. And we're hitting a few more signs along the way. But we've kind of come into this really cool part where the narrow, or the trail narrows, and it looks really just like a little footpath. And it slowly goes up. You feeling good? Yeah. Good on water? You need a snack? Nope. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright oh, you and i we got it Davis and I have landed at our restaurant post hike. It's cute, it's got like a little mural. Can you even see that? I'm blinded by the light right now. So let me, let me find my mask, hold on. What's it called? <laughs> They're open for takeout, if I can find my mask. Here's our yummy food. Look at that mac and cheese. All those gains that we earned on that hike. Oh, thank you. It's all gone now. It's just gone. Whenever I'm off to find a sunset, a flavor.
Whenever all the stars above are shining Then I know I'll never be alone Wherever all my wishes may be heading A part of us will never leave Oh, wherever in the world you may be hiding In a while I know you're coming home Hey guys, so I'm at a tile store right now. I have Mason. We're going to go in and see if we can find some tile for the Jack and Jill bathroom. I'm thinking probably big slabs to make it easy to clean um but we'll see what they have we need floor and then just like regular bath tiles so we're gonna go in see what we can find i'll see if i can vlog in there because trying to control mason and vlog and look for tile it's gonna be hard but we'll get it done that's what we're looking at so far a nice big subway tile smaller I'm gonna see if I can get this one too. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a little update and also show you the tile too. Don't mind my makeup. I, it all like rubbed off because my mask I had when I was in the tile store was on way too tight. I had just washed it. Um, so it was on way too tight, like half of it rubbed off. But I figured I'd tell you guys we have a couple exciting deliveries this week, so it should be um, a pretty good week to vlog. So tomorrow we get our new ovens that we bought like back in January and I'm really excited because these take a while <laughs> to heat up. Um, I'm thinking these are original at the house. It could be wrong. Wednesday, we actually get a new like entertainment console for the media room, which is like the pool room and everything. And it's just like one long big guy. Uh, it's going to be really pretty. It'll be what our TV sits on top of. And then I think that's it. And then all we had today was um, Mason's bathtub got delivered and the toilet for the Jack and Jill and then I went out and got all this tile and stuff which whew, That was a trip. I tried to vlog a little bit But I also was trying to tend to Mason as well as pick out tile like and get some stuff done I'm gonna show you kind of what we went with I went out, I was on the phone with Davis and he helped decide things But I figured I'd bring them all home We'd set them in the Jack and Jill and just see how they look. Can you see it looks a little more gray now that it's here I have a feeling we'll go between these two. Let me lay them out and show you. That's probably the easiest way to do this. <laughs> All right, so here are the three floor samples. Now that I'm looking at this, this might be too gray. But we have this lighter one. I think this one was Davis's favorite when I was in store FaceTiming him. And then I did get something a little bit more beige um, in tone. And then this is a tile sample, so it's kind of dirty because our fingers are all over it. But this is a tile sample. It's a wave look, and this horizontal looks beautiful. Like, I've seen a ton of pictures like that, and I don't think it's bad price-wise, and it's a really big slab. I didn't want tiny tiles. I wanted bigger ones, um, and these were in our price range and what we budgeted for. And I do have this large subway tile that has, like the slanted ends i forget what they call this there's a word but i forgot but it has like the slanted ends it's really pretty and then they have this like basic subway tile too this is probably the smallest we would go and i can't decide i'm gonna have to look at pictures with davis but i can't decide if i want to do vertical or horizontal you can see the idea is basically light bright colors kind of what we're going with, with the whole house so this might be too dark but it's really really pretty so these would be the stones for the floors and I'm thinking whatever we use for the Jack and Jill will probably use For the laundry room downstairs just to make it like all in sync But I don't know. I could probably change my mind. They had a lot of pretty tiles, but I love this wave I don't know if Davis is gonna love it, but I thought it was really cool. This is what it's looking like so far. Isn't that cool? I love these big subway tiles, you know, they just look so nice my makeup and hair I just did a reel so they are done Looking a little bit better than earlier when my foundation was like half off my face, which I wasn't wearing this foundation. By the way, I was wearing a different one. But still, my other one doesn't really rub off. I think it's because my um, mask was on way too tight. Do I? Okay. If you're wondering what I wore today and you don't want to watch the reel, I used this CoverGirl Atlast Extreme. This is amazing. I love it. I've been using it a lot this past week and it is just so good. It is so 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 good one of my new favorites so we've decided to open up the tub mm, might be the hardware here we go let's 
see it. Oh, look at the look at the bottom. That kind of goes with the waviness. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Nice and pretty. So this is the floor that we're gonna go with. Helps accents the floor and the tub is like a pop. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Cool, I'm gonna take a picture of it real quick for us. Okay, going to tackle this today. This has been here for a minute, so we're gonna go ahead, clear it out, get it looking good, and just reorganize everything <laughs> and see what I wanna keep and donate. So. What? Look. Who's this? Rose. Who's this? Rose. Daisy. Rose Daisy. You can help me? I found my tada. Found my tada. Found my tada. Yes. Movers came with this thing. It's like 300 pounds. They couldn't get it up the stairs. It was a liability thing, but we did it. Davis, his mom, and myself. See, I never showed you guys the full product. So it's got our TV on here and it is so pretty. We love it. It's so nice. Goes with like the vibe that we're trying to go for in this room. And lots of storage in these. We actually baby proof them. And it has this little eye thing where um, you can hide all the cords back here and then it reads it here. The only one we don't have in here is this little internet thing. Um, but super cool. So everything's literally stuffed in there. So there's like no crazy wires or anything. It's all hidden and put away and we are obsessed. 